Former House Speaker Glenn Cassida used to say the House will lead during his short time in charge at the state capitol in Nashville. But the man who replaced him is taking a different tone. Our state capitol newsroom reporter Chris Bungard sat down this week with Speaker Cameron Sexton to talk about the new direction. Cameron Sexton begins his tenure here as Speaker with new words about what will happen in the Tennessee House. Together, the House will lead. That was former Tennessee House Speaker Glenn Cassidy as he took the gavel in January talking about the state budget. It's the only thing lawmakers are constitutionally required to do. New Speaker Cameron Sexton takes a different tone as departments right now are crunching numbers that will affect every Tennessean. So we're hopeful to work with the administration in the coming months. We're looking forward to working with them on their budget proposal as they're coming in the fall. While taking a more traditional view of the state budget process, Sexton voted against fellow Republican Governor Bill Lee's signature ESA school voucher proposal that narrowly passed this spring. There's already a House bill filed to stop the controversial school funding program from proceeding. So how does the new speaker see the bill given his past opposition? So we'll have to wait to see what happens when it's run through the committee process and we'll see what the debate is and how it moves forward. But at the same time, the governor has the capability through the law to continue to work on implementing the policy that was passed. And, and so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. The new speaker here is choosing his words carefully on key issues. Reporting from the state capitol, Chris Bungard.